y'all doing here today? Fishing with my main man, Short the Court. We've been friends for a long time. He finally got me out here at Bussy. I don't fish this place a lot, but he's gonna show me some of his stuff and we're gonna go through some of the settings and, and uh, talk about some of the stuff on the live scope also. And, and even though we're probably fishing some thicker cover, live scope is still a valuable, valuable tool for finding not only cover that you can see, See, that's the thing. Everybody can see the tree standing. It's the tree you can't see standing that'll hold those bigger fish a lot of times. And that's what you can use it for. As we still fish that visible cover, we can get in there and fish the cover that you can't see. Those That one tree that's been sawed off by a lot of wind and things like that. And this out here, this place out here has got a lot of wind damage, uh, wind, a lot of choppy waves, and it will saw these, these willows and stuff off right at the surface. And when you get muddy water, you can't see them. And that's what you use the live scope for. Not as much to see the fish, but to see the cover and the structure that you're trying to fish. So let's get at it, Blake. You flipping mats up here, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna bump that shut Now, if we, <laughs> we fish something different. So, uh, so it's a lot of, a lot of fresh water. That's a little muddy. Uh, just had some storms and it's been 20 degrees colder the past two days. So we got a little cool front. Let's see how much uh, that's affected these fish. We've had some friends come out here and just absolutely murder them during the storm. I ain't that brave to be there out in the lightning strikes. <coughs> Lane, <coughs> Lane Martin. <coughs> so, uh, yeah, dude absolutely kills it out here. So I'm gonna go see if I can uh, do a little bit. So, let's see. It's a giant, boys, it's a giant. Hey, hold on. Let me get, I need to get really close. Son, hooked inside the mouth. That's what you got to do when you're fishing for these fish on the beds. I'm sight fishing that fish in 23 foot of water. That's right, 23 foot of water. He's suspended up about six, eight inches below the surface. Sight fishing. Yes, sir. That fish, that fish right there is going to go 10, 11 pounds. Oh, yeah, boys. Don't look that way on the camera. It's all camera. Camera adds, like camera on fat people adds about 10 pounds. On fish, it takes away 10 pounds. Oh, yeah. All right, guys, we're gonna have one, we're gonna have a good tip for it. We've been out here flipping and uh, pitching these, these brush and everything like this. And one thing that we have learned and, and that I've learned over time is you wanna set your distance based on the type of fishing. You don't wanna get it out there at 60, 70, 80 feet when you're up there at 20, 30, 40 feet pitching a jig. First of all, it's got so much stuff in the water, it begins to kind of clutter the screen. So what you want to do is you want to try to match. I try to put it 10 feet beyond what I'm actually pitching. If I'm pitching 30 feet, I want to put it out there about 40 feet. That gives me a little bit of range to see some fish beyond my uh, where I'm actually pitching and flipping my jigs or flipping the baits that we're using, which we're using like, like uh, beaver type baits today. But that way you can actually see some fish, but don't think just because you're pitching into cover or trees or bushes that you can't use live scope. That's, that's very much wrong. As a matter of fact, if you're not, then you're really, you're really just wasting uh, all the equipment you have on the front of the boat. 
because if you can sit there and target a fish then sometimes you can know if he's suspended up in the tree or he's on the bottom so if he's suspended you might want to try to get it over a limb and then really work your bait and try to keep it right in front of his face and he caught some nice fish today doing that so hey guys that's your tip of the day and i hope that helped you out um, if you have any more questions, you can visit my YouTube page, Garmin Guru. And of course, you can always get all the good stuff from him also. Garmin Guru on Facebook and YouTube. Go subscribe.